Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. Today's video is a beauty video. Now it's one I've spoken about, I think for about a year now actually, um, and it's one I've been wanting to do for quite some time. It's an anti-aging treatment. Actually, I don't like that, anti-aging. Let's call it supporting aging, not anti-aging, supporting aging treatment, and it's called Morpheus 8. And of course today, Dr. Julia, who does all my aesthetic work, uh, is doing the treatment today. So let's have a chat and find out exactly what Morpheus 8 is, how it works, what it does, and how much it costs. So what is Morpheus 8? I'm here with Dr. Julia. Uh, you may already know Dr. Julia if you follow me on YouTube and you would have seen her on many of my beauty videos. Dr. Julia, what is Morpheus 8 and what is it recommended for? Okay, so Morpheus 8 is a treatment that combines two different techniques, the microneedling and radiofrequency. So microneedling has existed in the industry for many years now, and you probably heard about the I think I've had it. Roller, the, yes. So the difference is that with the dermal roller, you go one depth only per roller. And here we can tailor the depth according to the area that we're treating, okay? So in some areas, for instance, around the eyes, we want to go very superficial, okay? Because the skin is quite thin around there. But some other areas, for instance, when people have a little bit of more fat tissues around here or a little bit of fat tissue accumulate under the, um, in the chin, so we can go a little bit deeper in those areas to create a little bit more contraction and tightening of the skin. Okay, so with the needling and radio frequency, what it does is the needling is stimulating your body to repair. Okay, so by triggering those cells that produce collagen, by causing the skin to bleed, you're encouraging them to repair and therefore you produce more collagen. With the radio frequency is heat. So what we're doing with heat is creating that tightening to the skin. So especially around the neck or in some areas, especially on the lower face, that's when we're going to give a really nice tightening. But we do treat the whole face and neck and body as well. So today we're doing the face and the and neck. neck. This is this is my, I can call it a problem area. It's just, you know, and I've done the, you would have seen my non-surgical facelift. Um, I've done a, a few different things, but this is something that I'm really looking forward to seeing some results around my neck area. Um, and this is the first of three treatments. That's correct? right. We recommend one course of treatment um, of three sessions, okay, with a gap of six weeks in between to allow yourself to repair. Is it painful? So the treatment itself, I'm not gonna lie, is uncomfortable, okay? Um, so for that reason, we make sure that you are properly numb to be able to tolerate the treatment. So there's a difference from just putting a topical anesthetic, because if I do that, you might be able to tolerate with the treatment, but I might need to tailor the settings according to your pain threshold. So turn it down. You turn mean. it down a little bit, that's right. Now, the alternative is to anesthetize you properly. So we can give some um, blocks, which means a nerve block, and then it's almost like when you go to the dentist and have um, a dental block. So you will feel after the treatment as if you've got a droopy yeah. face. And that is the difference to coming to see Dr. Julia, who is a dental surgeon, as opposed to going to a beauty therapist where they will only do topical. So I get the advantage here for me is I'm going to be totally numbed, which means that um, Dr. Julia can totally fulfill the treatment properly. She's not gonna, you know, go a little bit lighter, are you? Because I'll be totally numb. No. Okay. So the downtime might be a little Yes. Harsh. So we do expect you to have swelling. If you think about the concept of this treatment, what we're trying to stimulate is the repair of your body. Okay? So we're treating those cells that have this function of repair. And then if you think about wound healing, how we repair, the first stage is inflammation. Okay, so that's why we recommend our patients do not take any anti-inflammatories before the treatment. Because if you don't have any redness, if there is not much response after the treatment, it's probably not doing a lot. Because what we want is to trigger that inflammatory response to say, wake up cells, okay? okay? Do something about it. So tomorrow, the areas that will probably go a little bit deeper, you have a little bit more swelling. Um, I would say the about 90% of people do not bruise even though we're going to do thousand shots with needles around your face and neck, but some people do. Every time you penetrate the skin with a needle, there is a chance of bleeding, 
and they're 40 kudris. And you made a very good point too earlier about, um, you know, making sure everything is clean and it's done properly. And this is again, you know, you said you are piercing the skin. So there is chance of, if it's not done properly, of a bacterial infection, right? So that you... Absolutely. So you are in a clinical environment. So when we do this treatment, we prepare your skin as if you're going for surgery. So it's all antiseptics that we use, sterile instruments. We don't reuse any of the needles. So it's every set of needles that we use is specific for you for every time you come here. It's a new, fresh set of needles as well. And again, it's the environment. If the skin is, is not clean properly, we're gonna perforate through the skin. It could cause or trigger an inflammatory, um, an infection in the skin, okay. And so when you say that too, and you, the, the, the needles are going to be piercing my skin, um, am I going to be, am I gonna have blood and, and scabs tomorrow? Or how, I know there might be some swelling, yes. but am I gonna be look like someone's gone tick, 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 all over my face? No, okay. In some cases, a skin like yours, which you are on the right skincare products, you've been preparing your face for this treatment as well with the right skincare products, should be absolutely fine, okay? okay? There is some patients that do develop a little bit of scabbing because that's part of the repair. Mm -hmm. Not everybody does. Normally, if that happens, normally it's in the first session. And then the second session, you think, oh, the repair is a bit quicker, okay? So you look like you've been in the sun for eight hours without sun protection. Very good point. I'm assuming you cannot expose yourself to the sun. No. So if you were planning to go away on holidays somewhere hot, you need to plan for after your holidays or well, you know, with time, at least six weeks before you go, four to six weeks, because you don't want to be in the sun. If you think about this, your skin will be very sensitive. And if you expose yourself to the sun, you can cause post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, mm -hmm. which is something that we don't want to, to happen. And so what, what do I expect to see after my first treatment, second treatment, third treatment, as far as a pro-aging treatment, what's it gonna do for the old girl? So if you think about this treatment, as opposed to any other treatment like Botox and fillers, which are the quick fix, predictable, this is us telling your body to respond. Okay, so everybody's gonna react a little bit different. Normally on the first session, you might not see a great deal of difference, but it's the second and the third session that is the big deal. And so I'll just see my skin will be tighter. Tighter. A little plump. I'm hoping the neck. <laughs> it feels firm. So if you think about a teenager's skin, it's solid, it's, it's firm. And it's because it's full of collagen and elastin underneath the skin. Now, as we age, the skin tends to become thinner. So what we're doing is with this needling is saying to those cells, produce more collagen. Come on, that's what we're doing. Get working. Yes, get working. Get now, working. Now, if you do have a healthy lifestyle, drink lots of water. Drink lots of wine. Drink Sorry, water. <laughs> <laughs> um, you exercise and you look after yourself. I have a healthy diet. Obviously, your outcome is going to be better than someone that drinks a lot, smokes a lot, are totally dehydrated. So your repair is going to be different compared to someone that has a healthy lifestyle and are on these right skincare products as well. Is there any skincare products I cannot use after the treatment? Yes, so we are advised not to use inactive ingredients like retinol, acids straight away. So we're gonna so prescribe you, your vitamin C will be fine because what we want is to stimulate that collagen production and vitamin C is it's the best thing to stimulate that. So you can't produce collagen unless you have availability of vitamin C. So we definitely recommend that. And my Abaji eye cream? Absolutely. Great, okay. So how much does it cost? So the cost of the treatment is a thousand pounds per session. So today's my first session. Are all the sessions the same? The first and second session, it will be pretty similar, but the third session, I combined this protocol in adding a resurfacing treatment to your skin, so we'll feel even better. And what I'd like to do, I'm going to put this video out and you're going to have a look how the first treatment looks, and then what we'll do is a follow-up, and we'll just, we'll include a little bit of the second and the third, and then you'll see the end results. But I think it's really important that you get to see today exactly what happens. And I think because um, people are afraid too with the pain. But no pain, no gain, honey. Should we get started? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, no. No. Mm -hmm. So I'm going 
going to cleanse the skin again. So before I do anything, I constantly will see me wiping your face all the time. I'm going to do a test first, mm -hmm. and you tell me how it feels, okay? Close my lips again. <laughs> yeah. So tell me how this feels. Mm -hmm. Nothing? Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. You see, we're causing it to bleed. And it's this bleeding that will encourage repair. Mm -hmm. okay. This is the morning after. So I've got a few little dots over here, here, a bit of redness, very red here, slight bruise here. I, I feel like my chin is like swollen. Uh, there's a bit of redness here, very sore here. But what is interesting, I've got like about three necks there, not necks, chins, which, you know, I've got a few there, but I, I've noticed the swelling definitely under here. My neck is quite red. Um, but this is the area that I most wanted to see improvement with, is around here. Because the neck don't match my face. <laughs> this area has continued to break out, like actual pimples. I guess it's all part of it. I'm not just, uh, uh, I, I guess it's just getting all the, the skunk out. <laughs> but there's never been a problem area. So it'd be interesting to see if that's just part of the procedure. <laughs> How am I gonna shoot? I can't. You're not gonna be able to speak. What is that? Apparently, I will get swelling tomorrow. Ooh, finally. <laughs>